what we know about the Saved by the Bell reboot. So before we jump in, guys, make sure you go ahead and hit that red subscribe button down below for more content on all your favorite TV shows and movies. And make sure you go ahead and let us know by saying you subscribe down below in the comments and I will come down there and I will chat to you guys and we'll have a great time. You're like Justin Bieber if he wasn't like 100 years old. And clueless. Now we could hardly believe it when we found out that Saved by the Bell reboot is officially happening in 2020. Yes, a lot of TV reboots have been in the works lately. It feels like we're in a reboot era right now, especially when it comes to popular 80s and 90s shows like Saved by the Bell. But it seems too good to be true that our favorite students from Bayside High would be coming back together. Now, months after the original announcement, we know this is really happening. So let's take a look at some things that we know about Saved by the Bell reboot. The reboot was confirmed in September 2019. Now in September, news broke that Saved by the Bell reboot was finally coming. And as if that wasn't exciting enough on its own, at the same time, it was confirmed that a minimum of the original cast members, including Elizabeth Berkley and Mario Lopez, were definitely joining the cast, giving fans a chance to see Jesse Sapno and AC Slater together again. Truly a dream come true for 80s and 90s kids everywhere. It will premiere on Peacock. If it seems like a ton of new streaming services have been cropping up lately, that's because there are. And in this particular reboot, it will be premiering on one of the them on NBC's Peacock. Now this was actually released in July. It's based on Zach Morris's new career. Zach, you are Michigana. Please, when he asks you out, just say yes. Do I have to? No, but if you don't, can't touch these. When the reboot was announced, it was the basic framing for the plot. The show picks up with new students at Bayside High whose lives have been sent spinning by a decision by the governor of California, who just so happens to be Zach Morris himself. Zach makes a choice to save money in the budget by closing low income schools and sending those kids to Bayside instead. And the common glee of those students ends up being straight chaos. Mark Paul Goslar wasn't originally invited to the Saved by the Bell reboot. That is 99% paperless, so getting your books is kind of a pain in the ass. Oh, it took forever. Time out. What did that blonde fool just say to me? Given that we knew right away Zach Morris was part of the new show's plot, we expected that the man responsible for his character would be playing him, but not necessarily. In the same week the announcement was made, Mark Paul revealed that he hadn't been asked to return for the reboot and told Variety that he had read about it online. I read in the trades just like everybody else, he said at the time. Honestly, I was never approached. I woke up to the news this morning with a kind of huh response. And if that wasn't breaking news enough, neither was Tiffany Amber Tithson. Again, we can't imagine a new version of Saved by the Bell without Kelly Kapowski, but in the beginning, it sounded like she definitely was not included. She also chimed in saying that she hadn't been invited to join the reboot either. In an interview with US Weekly, Tiffany said, I don't know anything about it, literally. Mark Paul and I were like, oh wow. I didn't know that was happening, but it seems like everyone is doing a reboot these days. It's like popular, I guess. I'm a girl that likes the originals, but that's me. I'm nostalgic in that way, but I'm sure people are going to be excited about it and it seems almost popular to do a redo show. Eventually, both the cast members did end up getting invited back to play in the show, which was really, really nice there. Zach's blonde hair is making a comeback. How can you think of money when the well-being of your fellow students is at stake? Get real. I want half of everything in cash. Okay, deal. But no more free advice at school and no one can know we're doing this. Those who've been keeping up with Mark Paul's career in 2020 know that he's now known for having darker hair, even though his blonde locks were Zach Morris' signature look back in the 90s. But don't worry, the blonde hair has officially returned for the reboot as Mark Paul shared on Instagram back in March. One of these blondes is going to be Zach Morris, he shared while sitting in the hairstylist chair. Elizabeth is super pumped to return to the Bayside. As soon as news heard that about a reboot was happening, Elizabeth headed straight to Instagram to celebrate, sharing her photos of Mario and including a throwback or two sharing her iconic line, I'm so excited. 
Jesse and Slater are back for more fun, Elizabeth wrote at the time. We are thrilled to have an Emmy winning 30 Rock writer. The reboot won't be the first time the Saved by the Bell cast reunites in front of the cameras. Back in 2015, much of the cast got together on The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon, playing the teen versions of their characters that we are so familiar with. Mark Paul, Tiffany, Elizabeth and Mario were all there, along with Dennis Haskins who played Mr. Belding. After witnessing this production in all its glory, there was no doubt in our minds that an actual reboot is going to be just as epic. In terms of a release date for the Saved by the Bell reboot, we have not had any information regarding that. However, because of the coronavirus and because of everything that's happening in the world right now, I'm pretty sure they would have stopped production on the show and probably would have put it on hold until they are able to get back to work and have no distance between each other. But let me know what you think of the new Saved by the Bell reboot down below in the comments. What are you most excited for and are you a long time fan of? Of the show and also make sure you go and subscribe to the television society down below because we're gonna be posting a lot more content on the channel and let me know when you've done that by saying you subscribed and go ahead and check out my previous video on the top five hottest actors from the 90s and i'll see you in the next one